Hello guys, yesterday I made a video about the situation in Canada around coronavirus and what measures are being taken by the government to control the contamination. Today there has been a major development and Canada has imposed a major travel ban. So in this video I will tell you exactly about that and hopefully I would be able to clear many of your doubts as well. So let's first check out that what has been announced today that is on 16th of March. Today. Prime Minister Trudeau announced that effective 18th March, Canada will bar all foreign nationals from all the countries except the US from entering Canada. The measure would not apply to air crews, travellers transiting through Canada, Canadian permanent residents, diplomats or immediate family members of Canadian citizens. So what does this actually mean? This means that no one apart from Canadian citizens, Canadian permanent residents or US citizens would able would be able to enter Canada, which means that anyone holding a tourist visa of Canada, anyone holding the study permit, anyone holding the work permit would not be able to enter Canada. And even all of those people who have COPR, they will also not be able to enter Canada. They would not be able to complete their landing process until the next advisory. Now this was a major confusion, all those people who have the COPR and one time visa with them, they were actually confused that would they be able to come to Canada? The answer is no until the next notice or the information from the Canadian government. Remember, you only become the permanent resident once you enter Canada after completing your landing process. Having a COPR or the one time visa does not mean you are a permanent resident of Canada. Okay, apart from that, it has been said that all the international flights would be redirected only to four airports, Toronto, Vancouver, Montreal and Calgary International Airports. This will not affect the domestic flights or flights from United States, Mexico and the Caribbean. Alright, I know that this might be a lot confusing and uh, this might worry a lot of people who actually got their COPR in the last couple of months. Maybe they were waiting for the winters to end and they were waiting for March and April to arrive so that they can actually come to Canada uh, to complete their landing process or maybe do soft landing, go back to their home countries. Uh, but this will change everything. So this is a very important page. Uh, I will provide the link to this page to all of you guys in the description of this video. You can check it out. There has been very important points mentioned here. It says about the approved permanent residence applications. Here they have mentioned very specifically about two particular cases about the valid COPR and PRV and the expired COPR and PRV. Permanent resident applicants who are in possession of a confirmed COPR and PRV, they should inform IRCC by filling out the web form that they are unable to travel within the validity of their doc documentation. Now it is mentioned about the valid COPR and PRV that in an effort to reduce the number of cancelled COPRs and PRVs, a note should be placed in the file explaining that the applicant was unable to travel and the file should be brought forward to the expiration date of the COPR and PRV. But let's say that your one-time visa or the COPR is getting expired very soon, maybe in the end of March or maybe in the mid of April and you want to travel before that but obviously because of these conditions you can't travel, then in that case they will give you an extension. So this is a very detailed document mentioned here. I'll provide the link to this document. Please go through it so that it will clear many of your doubts. So thank you guys. Uh, this was all the information that I wanted to share through this video. As of now, this is all the information that is known to us through various websites, through official sources. As soon as I get to know about more of this kind of important stuff, I'll keep updating you guys on a regular basis. So thank you guys for watching this video. Stay safe and don't panic.